Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at a developer and a builder and how these builders build retaining walls here in Central Florida. I think it will surprise you. Building a subdivision. Can you see what really is involved when you build a subdivision? You see all those storm drains? See all the pipe that goes in? We're in Claremont, Florida. It's a lot of hills here, a lot of lakes. Drainage is the first thing that goes into any subdivision anywhere in the world. Thousands and thousands of cubic yards of soil are brought in here to make a subdivision. Remember, we're on a hill, so they've got to pack this. They've got to layer it, build retaining walls. Developers spend millions and millions, and their reward is tremendous. Once the infrastructure is complete, then homes are built in the development. An average cost per square foot building a home in Central Florida is about $150 a square foot. And each home has a different builder. So that means that construction is not the same in each home. Yes, there's a code that must be followed, but you would think that everything would be pretty standard. Let's take a look at the retaining wall system in this development. Remember, this is built on a hill, so retaining walls are on almost every home. And here's a great example of a brand new retaining wall. You can see it bowing there in the center. Why? There's no drainage here. And of course, this is going to fail in the future. It's just a matter of time. And you can even see it on the existing yard. It's not even six months old. And can you see all the moisture on the back of that wall? It's all failing, it's all failing. No drainage was put in here. And you can see all that water is gonna run right down here to this wall. This wall will do the same thing. So on and so forth as it goes down that hill. So you would think, you know, in the development, you know, with all the drainage that went in, the infrastructure that went in here to begin this development, that these builders would know, know to put drainage along these retaining walls, but they don't. And this is a typical problem that we find every day here in new developments in Florida. So we've been called out here to install some footer pipe along this retaining wall all the way back through. Would have been so simple for them to do that if they had done that in the beginning. But they do need drainage and so we're going to put a line in from back there in the back. Gravel perforated pipe, we'll wrap that in fabric, bring that all the way down and discharge right out here so that that water that's getting trapped as it comes down those hills has a place to go otherwise you can see what happens you can see can you see how bowed that wall has become it's brand new so basically we need to excavate all along this wall and install a gravel perforated pipe system some people call it a french drain as that water comes down the hill it will drop into that system and be carried out here to the front by installing a gravel perforated pipe system along the footer of this retaining wall, we can stop this wall from bowing any further. Some people ask, hey, can you push the wall back over? Well, if we did, it would probably crack the mortar, and I don't think that's a good idea. 
but we can definitely stop the erosion that's taking place along that footer and causing that wall to bow. So remember, when you're building a retaining wall, think about the development and how much drainage went into the development so that it wouldn't flood. When you build that retaining wall, be sure to put your footer pipe along the footer of your retaining wall and you'll be in good shape. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.